Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today we're getting ready for Easter with this delicious roasted leg of lamb recipe. I will show you how to marinate it with pomegranate juice, herbs, and garlic, and then roast it to perfection. I have been making this recipe for years, and every time I make it, it comes out amazing. Let's get our lamp out of the bag. Cut the bag neatly and don't toss it away. We'll be using it for the marinade. You'll see in a minute. And you will see a net around the leg. It is there for a reason. It's holding the deboned leg together and you should not take it off until it's completely done baking. Let's pat the meat dry and season it thoroughly on all sides with coarse salt and pepper. Set the lamp aside and let's start working on the marinade. We will need two tablespoons of chopped fresh rosemary. I always have fresh rosemary on hand. I buy full bunches, freeze them, and then take what I need for the recipe and return the rest to the freezer until next time. Chop about one tablespoon of fresh mint leaves. One large clove of fresh garlic, minced. Add to the herbs one fourth cup of olive oil. We'll add half a cup of pomegranate juice. And give it all a good mix together. Get a large bowl and now you will see why we saved the bag from the lamb. I put the meat back in the bag, pour the marinade right in and close it up. And this will keep the marinade snug against the meat. This works especially well for the leg with the bone in because it's too oddly shaped for any bowl and you don't want to end up making a bucket of marinade to submerge the meat. I find binder clips especially useful in the kitchens for jobs like this. Place the bowl into the fridge for about four to six hours. Make sure to turn the lamp over a couple of times while it's resting. Place your leg of lamp on a roasting pan. As you can see, I don't have a roasting pan, so I'm improvising. Make sure to place the lamp fat side up. Now let's empty out the remainder of the marinade over the lamp and place the pan in the oven and my oven has been preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 230 degrees Celsius. Now, immediately lower the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and now we will bake it for about an hour and a half to two hours until an instant read thermometer inserted into the thickest part of the meat without touching the bone, if there is a bone, it will register how you like it done. For a medium doneness, I'm looking for 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Look how beautiful it came out. Before we can cut into it though, we have to cover it and let it rest for at least 15 minutes. Resting the meat is very important as it lets all the juices to redistribute. And if you don't let it rest, the liquid will just flow out, leaving you with a dry piece of meat. After the meat had a chance to rest, we'll take off the netting and serve this gorgeous lamp. I love serving it with roasted potatoes and asparagus. Thank you so much for watching and happy Easter and Passover from my family to yours.